Yo, what's going on guys, it's Houston Sports Talk, back in another video today, and we're going to be recapping all of the games from week 12. Um, before I get into it, I gotta say, this was probably one of my favorite weeks of the season, it really was. Um, and ultimately, when the season's over, I would probably bet anything that this will end up being my favorite week of the season. So many close games down to the wire, like, like so many, there was about five of them that were just so interesting to watch. And um, and then you're not even counting the Thanksgiving games with the Patriots, and the Patriots and the Vikings, and then the Bills and the Lions on Thanksgiving. One of my favorite, one of my the reasons why the reason why it's my one of my favorite is one of my favorite weeks. I mean, weeks of the season is because of all these close games today and Thanksgiving football on Thursday. Um. So we're going to get into it real early, real interesting. The Jaguars and the Ravens. The Jags get a huge win against the Ravens, 28-27. to They score a touchdown with 15 seconds to go and make a gutsy call to go for two, and it works. And the Jags win it. Now, it wasn't over yet because the Ravens drive down with two plays. Justin Tucker lines up for a 67-yard field goal. His high as 66 made it against the Lions last season, but it's no good. Nearly made it. Would have been good for from like 65, but just short from Justin Tucker and the Jags get a huge win. Trevor Lawrence, what a game. Probably one of his best games of his career so far. 29 for 37, 321 yards, three touchdowns. Um, receive, their receivers, Zay Jones had 11 receptions, 145 yards. A Hasty had... Five receptions, 67 yards. The running back, by the way, uh, one touchdown. Christian Kirk had four receptions, 46 yards. And the big, one, the biggest of them all, Marvin Jones, had three receptions, 22 yards, and the game-tying touchdown. Uh, Agnew also had five receptions, 37 yards, and one touchdown. Lamar had was threw 254 yards, one touchdown, ran for 90 yards. Gus Edwards ran it in for ran in for a touchdown. Oliver had 75 receiving yards, one touchdown. Andrews had 50 receiving yards. Uh, Deshaun Jackson had 74 receiving yards and two catches. Um, with with um, a huge catch down the field to give the Ravens a 20. Uh, to give them a 27 to 20 lead that ultimately the Jaguars would tie it. Um, and yeah, the quarter win for the Jags jets bears. Um, this was a fun game to watch. Um, it's, if you're a jets fan, if you're a bears fan, um, this is not a fun to watch one to watch Mike white, crazy game for Mike white. Um, he throws, uh, tw- 315 yards and three touchdowns as now Zach Wilson's job is pretty much in danger. Uh, Johnson has a receiving touchdown with 62 yards. Uh, these are guys I've never heard of. Knight, I've never heard of that guy. He he has he ends up getting oh, that's rushing, rushing. So Johnson and uh, Johnson and gets 62, 62 rushing yards and a touchdown. Knight gets 69 rushing yards. Um, Michael Carter gets 21 rushing yards and gets hurt. Garrett Wilson with an unbelievable game. Five receptions, 95 yards, two touchdowns. Elijah Moore, two receptions, 64 yards, one touchdown. Uh, Tyler Conklin with three receptions, 50 yards. And that was really it for uh, the, the Bears, who had no offense besides the first quarter today when they had a 10-7 lead. Trevor Simeon had 14 completions, 25 yards, 179 uh, passing yards. Um, one touchdown pass, and their only touchdown was scored by Pringle, Brian Pringle. Um, Texans Dolphins. I'm not going to talk about this game because I'm done talking about this game. Awful performance by the Texans. If you want to hear me go into deep context context about it, um, go check out my Texans pregame. But a good win for the Dolphins. Really did not show up. Their their team did not show up in the second half. Really, they they were just on the field. They were bots. If you want to think about it in that way, because uh, you you have a thirty zero lead. There was no point. They were just they were just running the clock at that point and letting the tox, Texans run their offense. But decent Texans, decent second half by the Texans. Moving on, uh, Commanders Falcons. Good win by the Commanders. They keep their winning streak going um, and beat the Falcons nineteen to thirteen. I think that's a three game winning streak for the Commanders. Um, this one went down down the wire. The Falcons brought it down to the goal line. 
threw an interception and the commanders got the win. Kind of a rough day from Heineke. He had uh, 14 completions. Uh, well, he didn't throw it. It's not like he had a bunch of turnovers, but only 138 yards and two touchdowns. But ultimately, that was because they relied on the running game with 105 yards from Brian Robinson and 32 yards from Gibson. So that's because they relied on the running game. Um, McLaren had 48 receiving yards, and Bates had a receiving touchdown. Uh, Mariota, he didn't. He had more, but not much more. 174 and one touchdown. Um, they, but they didn't have a big rushing game. Patterson had 52, and Allegier had 54. Um, Zacchus, or however you say his name, he had 91 receiving yards. Uh, Drake London had 29 receiving yards and two catches. And that was really it for the Falcons. A good one for the Commanders. Clutch defensive plays. Um, and then an overtime game. This is one of two overtimes. Could have had four overtimes today. But you got teams like Jag- the Jaguars and the Chargers who were gutsy and went for two and got it. Um, but the Browns, they win in overtime. Tom Brady loses after winning the last two games. Uh, his former hometown team beats him and his former third-string quarterback, Jacoby Brissett, um, who was very excited to beat his former legendary quarterback, um, beats Tom Brady, his former quarterback, his former quarterback because he was a third string in 2016 2017 for the patriots and he had a good game today in his last start with the browns since deshaun watson is returning next week um he 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 put up some good numbers for any teams that are maybe potentially trying to look at what he's doing out there in in the off season trying to maybe pick up a new quarterback um so he showed some good things because deshaun watson's obviously coming back next week and this is his last game unless something happens to him. He gets hurt or, some God forbid, something with legal issues. But uh, Chubb with a big game, six, 26 carries, 116 yards, one touchdown. Um, receiving yards, Mark Cooper had a big game, seven receptions, 94 yards. He had a clutch catch in overtime. Uh, Nujoku had a touchdown with 30 receiving yards. Uh, Brady had 246 passing yards and two touchdowns. Um, receiving, Godwin had a big game, 12 receptions, 110 yards, one touchdown. And that was really it. Um, Broncos, Panthers, I'm going to go really quick on this. Panthers beat the Broncos 23-10. Darnold throws 164. Foreman runs for 113. Herbert, Herbert, Herbert runs for 65. DJ Moore with 103 receiving yards and one touchdown. Uh, Bron- Russell Wilton with 142. They're trash. Not going to go over the Broncos because they're trash. Um, Bengals, Titans. This was a fun game to watch. It was low scoring. I thought this would be a high scoring game as the Bengals beat the Titans 20 to 16. Tannehill throws 291. Henry, Henry has a bad game. 38 rushing yards. Had a big play down the field, a receiving yard. Receive a huge reception. That if you're if you have Derrick Henry in fantasy like I do, he fumbles at the one and the Titans recover it for a touchdown. But Derrick Henry doesn't count the touchdown. If you have fantasy, you know what you're you know what I'm feeling right now. Uh, Henry ends up getting three receptions and seventy nine yards. That play counted as a reception. Um, four receptions and seventy yards for Burks. He also had a touchdown because of that fumble recovery. Um, and that was really it for them. The Bengals had two, Burrow had 270 with one touchdown. Higgins had 114 receiving yards and one touchdown. Uh, what a game this was. The Raiders and the Seahawks. The Raiders win in overtime, 40 to 34. And Geno Smith, what a win from the Raiders. Uh, back to back wins for the Raiders, trying to keep their season alive. Geno Smith throws 328, two touchdowns. Kenneth Walker runs it in for two touchdowns. Uh, DK has 90 receiving yards. Tyler Lockett has 68 and one touchdown. And then for the Raiders, Carr throws 295, three touchdowns. Josh Jacobs has a huge game, runs it for 230 and two touchdowns. Devontae Adams has seven receptions and 74 yards. And Josh Jacobs just keeps adding to the pile, has six six receptions and 75 yard, 74 yards. That's that's a 300-yard day for Josh Jacobs. Wow. Uh, Chargers-Cardinals, this is a really good game. Um, the, the Cardinals give the Chargers the, bat, the ball back with two minutes, and... It wasn't it was enough time for the Chargers to score a touchdown. They go for two and they get it and they win twenty five to twenty four. Kyler throws one ninety one and two touchdowns. Uh, Connor runs for one twenty. Uh, Kyler runs for fifty six. Hopkins four receptions, eighty seven yards, one touchdown. 
And James Conner also scored a receiving touchdown. Herbert had 274, three touchdowns. Eckler only had 20 rushing yards. Eckler but had a did Eckler had a good receiving game though. 11 receptions, 60 yards, one touchdown. DeAndre Carter had seven receptions, 73 yards, one touchdown. Uh, Keenan Allen had five receptions, 49 yards, one touchdown. And Josh Palmer had 56 reception receiving yards. Chiefs Rams can never really quick with this one. This was not a good. This is not a fun game to watch at all. Mahomes had three. The Chiefs win it 26 to 10. Mahomes throws 320 with one touchdown pass. Um, Kelsey has four receptions, 57 yards, one touchdown. Vada Stanley, 15 receive, 56 receiving yards. Uh, for the Rams, uh, Brees Perkins throws 100 yards and one touchdown. Van Jefferson scores a touchdown for the Rams. Uh, the 49ers, this was one of the worst games to watch this season, uh, th- this week. 49ers shut out the Saints 13 0. Grapple throws 222, one touchdown. Uh, McCaffrey runs for 32. Elijah Mitchell runs for 35. Uh, Brene Uke with 65 receiving yards and Jenkins with 49 receiving yards and one of the best catches of the week for the touchdown. Um, that was a great catch by him. And Debo got hurt in this one but had 43 receiving yards. The Saints, Dalton threw 204, and Chris Olivier had 62 receiving yards. Sunday Night Football, this was probably one of my favorite games of the week. Um, the Eagles beat the Packers 40-33. to Interesting down to the end. Jalen Hurts throws only 153, um, but gets ends up getting 300 yards because he runs for 157. Uh, he also throws two touchdown passes in this game. Miles Sanders goes off with 21 carries and 143 yards and two touchdowns. Uh, Devontae Smith has four, 50 receptions. Uh, I mean, not 50 receptions. 50 receive, recep, receiving yards, four receptions. Four receptions as well for A.J. Brown. He had 46 yards and one touchdown. Watkins, three receptions, 35 yards and one touchdown. For the Packers, Aaron Rodgers, who got hurt in this game in the... It's like in the beginning of the fourth quarter, through 11 for 16, 140 yards and one touchdown and two picks. And then Jordan Love comes in and plays in the fourth quarter. He had a good game when he was out there. Looks really good. Threw some good passes. He was 6 for 9 with 113 yards and one touchdown pass. A.J. Dillon with 64 rushing yards and one touchdown. Christian Watson with four receptions, 110 yards and one touchdown. A.J. Dillon with three receptions. I mean, Aaron Jones with three receptions, 56 yards and one touchdown. And that was really it. Fun week of football, uh, starting with Thursday in uh, the Thanksgiving games, and then all the way going to to the the Browns and the and the Bucks, and then the and the afternoon games with the Seahawks and the Raiders and the Chargers and the Cardinals and the Jags and the Ravens and the and then Sunday night football tonight. Uh, if if it, it's what I I think the only reason Monday night Monday tomorrow night's not going to be. A, the best night of football with the Colts and the and the Steelers, but uh, if any indication of how how football's been this week, it should be a good game. But that's it for the video. Let me know your thoughts on this week's games with the Jags getting the upset win, the Raiders overtime high scoring win, the Sunday night football amazing game, and all the other amazing games this week. And that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out. Let me know your thoughts.